The HTC One A9 is the latest smartphone in HTC's family. HTC is labeling the phone as a flagship device, but that label really only applies to the phone's design. HTC has been accused of taking design inspiration from the latest iPhones. Yes, HTC tweaked the radius of the A9's corners and moved the camera above the polycarbonate antenna inserts on the back, but the overall look is a blend between the HTC Butterfly and last year's HTC One M8. Regardless of where you think the HTC One A9's design inspiration comes from, it's one of the best built phones from HTC that we've seen in a long time. The phone is built with aerospace grade aluminum which wraps around the back and sides of the phone and has edge to edge 2.5D Gorilla Glass on the front which protects the 5 inch Full HD display. Simply put, the HTC One A9 feels incredible to hold. We were never in love with the hard edges of the HTC One M9 but they were there for a reason. While the HC One A9 is a delight to fondle in the hand, it is extremely slippery. If you're prone to dropping phones, we recommend picking up a case for the One A9 if you do plan on buying it. The only design element that we're not terribly fond of is the speaker at the bottom. HTC had to exclude stereo boom sound speakers from the One A9 due to the phone's 7.3mm profile, forcing them to move the speaker to the bottom edge of the phone. This placement allows the phone's audio to be easily muffled by the palm of your hand when holding it in portrait mode. Where boom sound speakers would traditionally sit on other HTC phones, the HTC One M9 features a biometric fingerprint scanner located right below the display. The capacitive sensor allows you to easily unlock the phone simply by placing your finger on it, even when the phone's display is off. The A9's fingerprint sensor isn't the fastest, but is extremely accurate and features full integration with Android Pay. On the inside, the HTC One A9 is powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 617 processor, paired with 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. But HTC does have a variant with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage, but it's only available in select markets. If you need more than 16 gigs for all your apps, pictures, and music, the HTC One A9's microSD card slot does support Marshmallow's new adopted storage feature, which fully integrates the microSD's card's capacity into the system storage on the phone. With these mid-range specs, you'd think that the performance on the HTC One A9 would suffer. That's simply not the case. HTC software team has optimized Sense 7 to its fullest, integrating it seamlessly with Android 6.0. Blinkfeed and HTC's other customizations are still present, but you can easily install a third-party launcher and you would hardly notice that the phone's not running stock Android. The phone is a multitasking champ and can even handle the most graphic-intense 3D games with ease. A Full HD display is pretty standard for a 5-inch phone from HTC these days, but the company chose to swap out the usual Super LCD panel for an AMOLED one. It may not have the clarity of a Quad HD display, but its colors are rich and vibrant with deep blacks, flexible viewing angles, and ample brightness even in direct sunlight. On the camera front, HTC pulled out all the stops. The phone's 13 megapixel sensor with optical image stabilization produces the best pictures we've ever seen from HTC. The A9 handles low light pictures a lot better than the One M9 thanks to the sensor's larger pixels and OIS which allows the shutter to stay open slightly longer without blurring the picture. Advanced users will enjoy the fact that HTC has included Pro setting, allowing you to manually tweak the exposure, white balance, shutter speed, and even capture raw image files. For those simply looking to have some fun with the camera, the new hyperlapse feature allows you to record video in 720p and choose playback speeds between 2 and 12 times. The hyperlapse camera mode is extremely easy to use and thanks to the camera's optical image stabilization, the final output is extremely smooth even if you're walking while recording. The 2150mAh battery inside the phone is quite small by today's standards, but with the help of Marshmallow's Doze feature, we found that the phone can easily make it through a full day under moderate use. That being said, if you find yourself using the phone a lot, you can get another 4-6 to six hours of battery life by using the new Quick Charge 3.0 charger for 10-15 to 15 minutes. Naturally, you'll have to spend additional money to buy one since HTC did not include it in the box. If you're a spec junkie and are always looking for the best device on the market, the HTC One is probably not the phone for you. But if you want a good looking phone with a good camera 
and delightful software experience, the HC1 A9 be exactly what you are looking for. Thanks for watching our review of the HCC1 A9. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from us in the future.